Hello everyone, good to see you to back with another how to play. Today, we are looking at how to play the game Enemy Animony. Um, which I believe Animony is like a plant, flower. I'm not sure what it has to do with the theme of it. And it, they wanted a name that just sounded interesting. It's my design by Daniel Newman and New Mill Industries. So a little card game. I would not be surprised if this was like a originally a Japanese release, I don't know for sure. In it, you have a deck of cards that has a nice little infinis, pretty nice artwork. And these are your creature cards, there's 60 total, in six different suits. Each suit is a different creature. And you got those ones, and you also got these ones. And you're gonna be using one suit Per player, so I've got it set up for four players. Uh, you also have the anemone cards here on one side, they're plus one, the other side, they're plus two. And basically, if you get one, if you if you end up getting one, you take it, it's plus one. If you end up getting a second one, you flip it over, plus two. If you get another one, there's three, there's four. You probably won't get that high, but you might. Um, the only other things I can tell you regarding setup, and there's Cards numbered 1 through 10 in each of the 6 suits. Again, 1 suit per player. There are special like special variants for 2 players in where you're using 4 suits. And you will move the 1s and 10s. Each player gets 8 cards. And you're each going to be playing 2 cards at a time. And then you will be drawing to refill your hand. Uh, for 3 to 6 players, it's a little bit more straightforward, one suit per player. And you will be getting 10 cards each. If you're doing six players, you're gonna remove the ones and tens as well. Same way two players. And you will deal eight cards each, but we're gonna do 10 cards each. I guess that's all of them. And this is, I didn't mention it before, it's a trick-taking game. But it is, unlike a lot of trick-taking games, a must-not-follow. And there's going to be some cards left over, which we'll put aside. We won't need them. And so, one person, you can choose... Start player however you want. We'll play a card. You can say I play a 10. And then everyone else is going to, in turn order, play a card, but they must play a different suit. It could be a same strength, but it has to be a different suit. So this guy plays, say he plays 4. Maybe he's not going to play 4. Maybe he's going to play uh, a 3. Oh yeah, he has to play that for you, sorry. Because he can't play the same suit. And this guy says, I'm gonna play a two. And this guy will play, can he play something different? He can, he'll play purple. He'll just play this six. So, like most protection games, where he plays the highest card, wins. If more than one person uh, plays the highest card, for instance, uh, how did this guy only end up with uh, a few cards here? Okay, we're good. I think I miscounted somewhere. Because we're doing four players here, right? Unless I mixed up some cards. Never mind. So there was no extra cards. I'm confused. <laughs> anyway, uh, if somebody else had played a 10, I lost my train of thought. Like, let's say this guy played a 10 instead of a 2. It's whoever played the same card last that would break the tie. It's the same thing with the lowest card, because whoever plays the lowest card is going to get an Animoni card here. Uh, but if there was a tie for the lowest card, the two people who played 3s, for example, then it'd be the last person to play 
In this case, I play the highest card, so I win the trick. I'm going to collect all these cards and put them into my score pile. They are worth one point each, with the exception of the three, the eight, and the five, which are all highlighted with a colored circle in the, behind the number and a white number instantly. Those cards are worth double, so they're worth two points each. So right now, I would have five points. Now, you know, you might be wondering what this is for, and I can explain that right away. So let's say I play a uh, blue eight. Hopefully I can explain it. Uh, if, if this guy wants to, he could play this six with this one and make it a seven. He's not going to do it because it really serves no purpose. That's what the these cards do. Um... Try not to get these mixed up. Let's just say he plays a uh, two. This guy plays. Uh, see, he has fives, eights, threes. He doesn't want to. He's got a lot of those. He doesn't want to give me some points, so he's going to play a seven. And then this guy has no choice but to play a purple card. So I'm going to play this one. So again, this guy played the wolf's card, so he gets another anemone. So we flip it over to the plus two. And he has to use that now as a plus two and not as one and one. And then I again collect cards into my score pile. Whoever wins the trick gets the lead, so I'm going to lead again. I'm going to play this blue seven. And this guy says, you know what, I'm going to play this and this as an 8. And then this guy said, you know what, that's all good and well, but I'm going to play an 8 myself. And then this guy says, yeah, but I'm going to play an 8 too. Whoever played the last card of that value wins, so they get to collect all those cards. Uh, the enemy and a money card gets discarded. Who played the lowest one? Uh, I think that was me, so I would get this card. <laughs> you keep going around the table like that until you've played through all your cards. And you will score your points. And I believe, if I recall correctly, you're playing three rounds and whoever has the most points, four rounds. Four rounds and whoever has the highest score wins. Whoever has the highest score at the end of the round, let's say I had the highest score, I would get to start the next round as well. At the end of the game, these uh, enemy anemone cards are I believe they're not worth anything point wise. However, if it happens to be a tie, whoever has the most of these will win. It's a tiebreaker, but they're not worth any points themselves, if I recall correctly. Also, if there is a bunch of these out and there's no more left, then whoever has the most anemone cards must give that player one of their cards. So if one player had a bunch and this player needed one, he would give them one. He had no choice if there's no more left. And I'm trying to think, I think there was one more thing I wanted to mention, but maybe that's it. All right, also at the end of one round, whoever has the lowest score gains an Anna Moly card. So let's say he had the lowest score, he would get one of these. If there was a tie, I guess both would get. And these do carry over into the next round, you just keep them. But the rest of the cards are going to get reshuffled and re dealt. So you're going to want to write down scores on a piece of paper to keep track of that. There is one more thing I want to mention, and that is what happens if you cannot play a suit that has not already been played, if you cannot not follow? 
if that happens, let's say, let's see, this guy has four colors. I'm just trying to see what everyone else has here. This guy has, everyone's got like four colors, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. But let's just say I played a blue card. Okay. And then this guy plays a card. A green. And then... And this guy plays a red card. And that comes to this player and only have his vest. They don't have... Uh, sorry, I meant to play a purple card here. That's a bad example. This guy plays a purple. And it comes to me... And all I have is the three colors that have been played. Green, purple, and blue. Uh, what happens in this case is I must take one of these cards. You know that red one? <laughs> I must take one of these and put them into my own score pile. I'm not sure how that is a penalty. But that's how you play. If you cannot play and then whoever plays the highest card wins the trick. If... You know, this happens as well. I guess whoever played the lowest card still gets an animoni card. That would be this person. And then whoever played the highest card, that would be this guy, wins these cards. Again, at the end, you score your points. You have the score mine I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. Because again, threes, fives, and eights are double. So that's the game. It's a pretty simple, straightforward little trick taking game with a couple of added twists. And I, I like it. The quality is really nice for the cards. It all looks decent. And that is that. Comment, like, subscribe. And what do you think? Hopefully that makes sense. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.